long I've waited for the pleasure of another human being. Sometimes <laughs> it's <laughs> 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 He's like, please go again. Yes. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay, and we are here getting into another movie. This week, we are going to celebrate the beginning of October with a horror-adjacent movie, you could say. Uh, when people think of Halloween, when people think of October, one character that comes to mind, pretty iconic, is Frankenstein. So... To start the beginning of the month, we are planning on watching horror movies later on in the month, but to, to like more legit scary movies. But to start off the month, we're going to start with something a little more lighthearted, and that is Young Frankenstein. This is a movie that Zay and I have not seen. We don't really know anything about it other than it's black and white. It's a Mel Brooks movie, came out the same time as Blazing Saddles, and you know, it's PG which is very interesting because Blazing Saddles was not PG and you know that was a Mel Brooks film so it's like it's yeah. interesting to see how is how does the humor change here how different is it here if it came out the same year same guy Gene Wilder is going to be in this as well so you know I'm interested to see how this plays out especially with the fact that it's PG and and, and if that really affects the humor at all or if we still have a a great time and uh i'm sure they could pull it off mel brooks did a great job with blazing saddles so we'll have to see uh zay anything before we get into this movie um yeah no super excited to get into it uh very curious because like you said you know this compared to blazing saddles uh with the rating of pg and a horror comedy interested to see um how this how this movie kind of plays out how they do the humor and such to be fair you know PG ratings in 1974 were probably a little bit looser in sure, a way, sure, sure, and yeah, it is yeah. so they probably could get away with a little bit more on this, but yeah, um, maybe. It, maybe it's more like a PG 13 for modern times. I really don't know. I mean, I'm very curious to see how they do with it, but nonetheless, yeah, super excited to get into it. And it's into spooky season, so it's only right that we start reacting to this type of content and content that's adjacent. Yeah. Now I will say that. It is interesting. The cover did have Gene Wilder. He looked like he was the doctor. There was also a humpback, a hump, hunchback um, guy on the cover as well. Uh, I don't know if we're going to actually see some kind of Frankenstein monster in this movie, but mm. uh, I'm definitely curious. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know where they're going to go with this. I know that I'm kind of familiar with the Frankenstein tale. But I don't think I've actually fully seen any Frankenstein movie from start to finish. I'm aware yeah. he was a doctor who made a monster out of uh, body parts and the monster came to life and kind of there was a city and they revolted and things like that against the monster. And I think it's meant to be an empathetic tale towards Frankenstein or maybe it's meant to just be a horrifying tale. Not all that familiar with the tale. But uh, what I said is is how I'm familiar. Is there, is there anything you're aware about uh, of the actual tale of Frankenstein? That's pretty much it in regards to the original tale. Uh, is my That's my awareness of it. So I am curious, yeah, to see how this plays out. Maybe, you know, I mean, I I guess I, I have like thoughts of maybe how they're doing this or how it might play out considering it's like young Frankenstein. Maybe he's like, makes, maybe Frankenstein's like a child. Like literally, like acts Maybe like a child, which could have at some point or during the movie, which could play to a younger audience, a PG audience. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I'm excited to see how how they do it. I'm not like I said. I'm not too too familiar with the whole tale. I'm aware of what you talked about, but I'm not sure of like how what the resolution was of that tale completely or where they were located. All the like details. So yeah. Well, let's get into the movie. Ha. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. Ooh. Fra oh. Baron von Frankenstein. Is that is that the name of the doctor or the the doctor's father? 
is Frankenstein a junior? Oh, uh, we'll have to find out. Oh, okay. Ooh, doesn't matter. He's dead. Um, I wouldn't take that. He's grabbing that for yeah, some reason. Yeah, you're about to get haunted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, hey, man, give it back. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. Hey. <laughs> Back. Uh-oh. Yo, the first time that happens, I'm like, you got it. Yeah, bro, I would love that. Are there any questions before we proceed? I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. Okay, so he is... Hmm. Yep. Gene Wilder. That's Frankenstein. Oh. Okay. Oh. My name, it's pronounced Frankenstein. Is that right? Aren't you the grandson of the famous Dr. Victor Frankenstein who went into graveyards, dug up freshly buried corpses? It's Frankenstein. Yes. yes. Wait, so we all know that's his son. Did. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand the distinction between reflexive and voluntary nerve impulses. Very good. That's a stupid question. Your left knee, please. You have just witnessed a voluntary nerve impulse. That's what I'm saying. Stimulus from the cerebral cortex passes through you the brain. Choose to do it. And to the yeah. particular muscles involved. It's a stupid versus, fucking question. Versus like when you take the like when you take the hammer and hit their knee, is that a yeah, reflexive? Yeah, yeah oh, that's okay. his question. <laughs> oh, that's the dumbest question I've ever heard. Get this it's kid out of here. What's the difference between a choice and a reaction? That's literally <laughs> Oh son of a bitch! <gasps> we are not aware <laughs> of these impulses. Neither do we intend them to carry out. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but what if we block the nerve impulse by simply applying local pressure for, oh, say, five or six seconds? Oh, boy. <laughs> Just dex him. <laughs> <laughs> you mother grabbing bastard! <laughs> As you can see, all communication is shut off. <laughs> Yeah, and he's that... dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! What did you do to him? <laughs> 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 the nerve root is always serious. What, what did he? Did he come? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> did he actually knee him in the ball sack? Did... Oh, he actually hit him. I thought I think he, he actually hit him. Lynch. Doesn't the bringing back to life what was once dead hold any intrigue for you? Dead is dead. Yeah, but what? With hearts and kidneys. Hearts what? and kidneys are tinker toys. Whoa. <laughs> but sir, I am a scientist, All right. not a philosopher. <laughs> you have more chance of reanimating right. a scalpel than you have of mending a broken nervous system. Damn. All right. My grandfather. This kid doesn't give. <laughs> The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life. Oh, uh, shit. watch it. Yeah, that's not going to preserve your life. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Dismissed. Dude, he, he's, like, oh, he's holding in tears right now. He's yeah. like, I love how passionate he was about everything. Yeah. Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. Oh. oh. I have traveled 5,000 miles to bring you the will of your great grandfather. Oh, shit. Von Frankenstein. Uh oh. What is it? I'll count the hours that you're away. Oh, darling, so will I. Not on the lips. <laughs> oh, damn. Going to that party at Nana and Nikki's later. I don't want to smear my lipstick. Oh. You understand. Why you want to look so nah. good for other men? Red flag. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess this is it. Freddy, That's, she's darling. from Blazing Saddles. Well, how can I say in a few minutes what it's taken me a lifetime to understand? Remember the singer? Yeah. I'm yours, all of me. What else can I say? My sweet love. The hair, the hair. <laughs> Damn, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, my only love. Taffeta, darling. Wrinkle so easily. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. I would be like... Well, hurry now, before I make a <laughs> Well, to stand six myself. feet apart, then. <laughs> oh, the nails. Oh. Yeah, bro. Could you imagine having someone so fragile? It'd be, co it'd be COVID rules, bro. I'd be like, nah, <laughs> six feet, bro. You're good. <laughs> 
goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Freddie. <laughs> yeah. The elbow wow. goodbye is crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Darling. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Did she die? Yeah, bro. She doesn't want to mess up her makeup, yo. That shit hit. <laughs> Would have just... People be like, oh my god, what happened to the right side of your face? <laughs> Did you get hit with a kiss? You got hit with a blown kiss? <laughs> Where is Transylvania? I mean, I guess it's like, obviously there, but like... Is Transylvania even real? Yes. I thought it was just... No, I think it's actually a real place. I'm One of us looks like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> probably me. We're gonna kill this whole conversation. Oh, shit! Now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Frankenstein. You're putting me on. Is that is his eye real? I don't know, because that thing's popping out. Yeah. You must be Igor. No, it's pronounced Igor. Oh makes sense. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Sorry, I uh <laughs> I'm a rather brilliant surgeon. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. Oh shit. What hump? Oh shit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what do you do in that situation? <laughs> Herr Falkstein thought you might need a laboratory assistant temporarily. Oh. Yo, my man's face is nuts. Oh. Hello. Wow. Would you like to have a hole in the hay? Yes. It's fun. Please. Roll, roll, roll in the hay. Oh, that would <laughs> annoy the fuck out of me instantly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> you know what? Let me sit next to you, bro. <laughs> Igor, Igor, can I sit next to you? <laughs> I am Frau Blucher. I don't like that. Even the horses didn't like it. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I am Dr. Frankenstein. This is Just say Frankenstein. Inga. May I present Frau Blucher? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a sign. <laughs> After you, Frau Blucher. Yeah. <laughs> That's obviously a sign that she's not. She should not take. Listen to the horses. That's all I'm saying. Those horses, like, stop saying her name. <laughs> Blucha. You're going to get fucking kicked, brother. Bro, <laughs> like, that's, that's an asshole thing to do. He's like, hey, let me try one more time. <laughs> What's she doing in this mirror? That was well, not very quiet. Like Good night, Herr Doctor. Good night, Frau Blucher. Yep, yep. <laughs> Those horses were out there like, yeah! I knew it was coming. <laughs> They're like, please, leave while you can. She's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> She's like, this guy's insane. It seems louder over here. Hand me that candle, will you? Oh no, oh no, it's gonna burn it. Oh shit! Put so just push the candle <laughs> back. Oh, oh, oh no! Take out the candle, uh -huh. and I'll block the bookcase with my body. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Put the candle back with all of your might. Shove against the other side of the bookcase. That's just gonna end up with her on the <laughs> other side, and there's no way to put the candle back. Oh, okay. She's leaving the candle. Yep. But now she's trapped. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this infinite loop. Now, how do we oh. get? Oh. A passageway. Whatever that music is, it's <laughs> coming from down there. Good Lord. Oh. Man. I don't. I don't know if that's still three years dead. Thirty-three years, possibly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two years dead. Oh. Six. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 
Nobody cares for I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. Oh, fuck. Damn your eyes. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I love that zoom in that they did. That was yeah. funny. Yeah. This explains the music. Well, not. Wait. But who was playing it? I don't know. But whoever it was just barely finished putting out his cigar. Uh oh. Hmm. Look at this. How am I doing? I myself became capable of bestowing animation upon lifeless matter. Uh oh. You like, you like, I bet. It's real. It comes <laughs> oh, uh -oh. oh, right. Oh, he's lost. Oh, it. my gosh. That's terrifying. As the minuteness of the parts formed a great hindrance to my speed, I resolved, therefore, to make the creature of a gigantic it's... stature. What? The... what? Are you painting? And what did you just eat off of said, off of said paintbrush? His feet, his hands, his organs would all have to be increased in size. Exactly. He would have an enormous Schwanstucker. <laughs> Indeed. That goes without saying. <laughs> it's going to be very popular. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, all right. That's good enough for the likes of him. Are they going to rob body parts? Yeah, they're just going to rob bodies right now. <laughs> Damn! That's kind of crazy. What a filthy job. Could be worse. Oh, Ow. Boy. Could be raining. You motherfucker. I've, you I've, as soon as he come. said could be raining, I knew exactly what they were going to do, bro. Need a hand? Uh, no thanks. Nice <laughs> to meet you. How very nice to meet you, Bro. Damn! A nice warm fire be the thing for you. A little nip from the old bottle wouldn't be too bad either, would it, sir? Let's check it. Thank you very much, Constable. At your service, sir. Always. Oh, damn. All we need now is an equally magnificent brain. Okay. Didn't you... Didn't you used to have that on the other side? What? Uh... <laughs> no, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> H. Delbrook. Hans Delbrook. Uh, he's a smart guy, I guess. Brain deposit. Slip brain Slip. through the slot in the door. Oh my oh, goodness. God, Christ. imagine that was an actual thing. You just walk in. Ah, look. <laughs> See how many drop offs we got today at past five. That's not a very secure door. Okay. It didn't look like it was locked. <gasps> Dude, that's your hand. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> you want him to get the brain, bro? <laughs> and it's just your reflection. I see. Oh, dude. Oh, no. I knew he was going to be scared. Oh. Oh, no. Abnormal. Do not use this brain. Why? Oh, Just grab the other one. There was like a mi what did I say? No. Okay, that's what. What are we doing? What is this? You got a key on there? I'm sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Now tie off the kites and hurry down as fast as you can. What's the hurry? There's the possibility of electrocution. Yeah, yeah. You better get down. Do you understand? I understand. I understand. Why are you shouting? What? <laughs> this man is Did you from that? another world. And the hump oh. switched sides again. Oh. Yeah, what the f- <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah. uh, yep. the generator. <laughs> yes, master. I need to know what's under that damn jacket. <laughs> Part of me thinks it's like a second head. He's like- Yeah, right? Yeah, it's like <laughs> peeking around. Our greatest dread has always been the knowledge of our own mortality. Oh, he's going off. But tonight, 
Facts. We shall Time flux. throw the gauntlet of science into the frightful face of death itself. Oh boy. Bars. Into the very womb of impervious nature herself. I don't think it's going to work how he wants it, though. Shot. Is that no, right over learn. the Frankenstein's dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Throw it, Throw it. Oh boy. Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Life, do you hear me? Give my creation. Wouldn't it be better to electrocute it in the head or heart instead of the dick? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm confused. Oh, uh oh. Open oh. your eyes. Open your eyes. Are we, are we kind of seeing its skull? Just open those eyes. Come on. Daddy needs those eyes open. I don't know if that's doing much. You're not even compressing. Look. Bro, he's like, he's not even denting that chest. That thing's bounced right back. If science teaches us anything, it teaches us to accept our failures as well as our successes. Sure. With mm -hmm. quiet, dignity. He's gonna cry. And grace. Okay. All right. Even Igor is all about that. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Quiet, dignity, Quiet, and graceful. Dignity and grace. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Oh, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? 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 Is he a robot? The fuck? Oh, what shit. the fuck is happening? How did he do? His arm is must be robotic, right? Yeah, here gears and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is an ugly zinc. And once you get one started, what is that facial hair? Little chance of stopping it. Oh boy. What is in order? It's for me to pay a little visit on the good doctor. And to have a nice, quiet chat. Oh, boy. His hair is connected oh, everywhere oh, except no. for the middle of his lip. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lifeless Hulk. Maybe it is better off dead. Oh. Oh, and mm. keep the life. Oh, did you see that? A little electricity? Yeah. Come on, flick that finger up. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the other chick? Schwarzwald or Kirschtort? Mm. Oh, do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> you just made a yummy sound, so I thought you liked the dessert. I didn't make a yummy sound, I just asked you what it is. But you did, I just heard it. It wasn't me. Uh oh. Well, now look here. If it wasn't you, when it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, let's go. It's alive. He said it. It's alive. Hey. There it is. <laughs> He's like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Things like, so am I gonna get let out? Or... <laughs> oh, there. I'm going to set you free. <laughs> Is the sedative ready? Yes, Doctor. Oh my gosh. I want you to sit up. Oh shit. Okay. Stand on your feet. Oh. Oh, there you go. 
Okay. Nice. Good. A little bit of ballroom dancing. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's something I did forget about Frankenstein. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> no, oh no, my god. <laughs> yeah, said said it in. <laughs> Sounds like a uh, give. Yeah. Oh, come on, get the sedative. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought they were going to give it to the doctor. Bro, if she, if she said the doctor, I would have laughed so hard. Okay. All right. So, fire is a no go. Yeah, it's. <laughs> hates fire. Said I give? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, really? I love how they were having fun with it. Ooh, three words or three yeah. syllables. Okay. Yeah. That brain that you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Abby normal. Oh, no. Abby normal. <laughs> He's going to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> Are you saying that I put an abnormal brain into a seven oh, and a half foot long? <laughs> Gorilla! <laughs> 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 Yeah, bro, that hand's made of <laughs> cyborg metal, bro. yeah. It is not superstition that worries me here, Doctor, but genes aren't chromosomes. Oh, now you're just... Oh, what a... What, bro? Yeah. Transylvania! You piece of crap! Aren't you out of... Frankenstein! All right, Frankenstein. <laughs> you should have pump feed that one. In the least. <laughs> Yo, that cat sound was crazy. I think you can find a way out by yourself, can't you? Of course. Until we're not again. Uh, Beryl? Yes, drop by any time. We are always open. Imagine that arm kept going. He would have been sucked in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they hit him with oh, the darts. The darts, oh my gosh. Victor, we have done it. You didn't do, you didn't do shit. <laughs> they did it. Thank heavens that's over with. Uh oh. Frau Blucher. <laughs> Those. <laughs> that, don't horses. say that name anymore, yo. <laughs> I know what he likes. <laughs> Oh. He likes the music. Oh. What, what the fuck there's nothing there. is he doing? You played that music in the middle of the night. Yes! To get us into the laboratory. Yes! That was your cigar smoldering in the ashtray. Yes! Oh. He was my boyfriend! Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Run, run, oh, run. Oh, oh, fuck. Somebody stop him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's out. Down. Don't. Don't. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> She passed out. She was like, <laughs> she was like, in shock that that just happened. And she like, she passed out. A temporary companion to help me pass a few short hours in my lonely life. Mm. Ah! There you go. Oh, yeah. Ask you shall point. receive. Oh no. Oh, thank you. Is he blind? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. he must be. How does a nice bowl of soup sound to you, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How long I've waited for the pleasure of another human being. Sometimes <laughs> <in> <laughs> 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 tend to 
He's like, please go to get Yes. Wait. He's like, what the fuck? Long friendship. Oh. <laughs> Cigars. Oh, f oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no. But give him that one because you already lit it. Yeah. See? Like. <laughs> Oh, Don't inhale. No. 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 <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 he straight up said a word. He said, wow. <laughs> Wait. Where are you going? I was going to make espresso. <laughs> God forbid you tried to do that. How <laughs> you end up hurting him even more? Is that? Yeah, that's him. He's dressed up. No! Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know if that's the most stable. Ah, uh, uh, oh man. Oh please, 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 girl. Maybe you should have gone for the butt. Yeah, damn near straight in the back. Did you even push the plunger in? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? She didn't even... Some shit came spitting out. I don't even think she pushed the plunger in. It looked like it was coming out of the syringe. No matter how terribly I may scream, do not open this door. Do you understand? Do not open <laughs> He yells this it at door. high going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Changed his mind immediately, yo. Open this goddamn door! <laughs> <Open the head>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> Instantly. Do you want to talk about the Olympian ideal? You are a god. <laughs> That's one way to uh, make friends with somebody. Yeah. Are not evil. You are good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. This is a mother's angel. And I want the world to know that we love him. <laughs> Aww. That's not the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Dr. Frankenstein. Oh boy. Are you alright? My name is Frankenstein. Hey, there you go. The creature. What I have to offer you might possibly be the gateway to immortality. Bro, this is like, imagine... Ladies and gentlemen, may I present for your intellectual and philosophical pleasure... It's going to be interesting, but it's also like... The creature. Imagine Steve Jobs hyping up an iPhone and it was like trash. <laughs> like that's right. like... <laughs> Yeah, like this is yeah, he hyped up an iPhone and brought out brought out a Nokia. Right. <laughs> oh, he's got the famous boots on, right? Those are the Frank Yeah, Sider's I think so. Like that, right? See how fast people turn? It's crazy. From what was once an inarticulate mass of lifeless tissues, may I now present a cultured, sophisticated, eh, man about town. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. oh my gosh. If you're blue and you, <laughs> you go too, why don't you go where fashion sits? All right, this a little is... off beat, but he's right doing it. 
Stripes to wear a day coat, pants with stripes or cut. <laughs> he wins. Perfect fit. <laughs> Trying mighty hard to look like Gary Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. <laughs> Barellers in their mitts. <laughs> Bro, this is awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm impressed. Oh, okay. Oh, flex on him. Flex on Frankenstein's monster. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, hey. oh, oh. Hey. hey. Oh, damn. Bust a move. That's crazy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Shh. He's like, shh, shh, shh. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> For God's sake, come on. Are you trying to make him look like a fool? Oh no, don't. Oh, it's not a show mad. anymore. He was good. I beg you. No. For safety's sake, don't humiliate him. <laughs> For safety's sake. <laughs> Where did they throw pulling all these items? Oh gosh. Oh shit. Y'all created the monster. Everyone's oh, dead. Oh, From the fuck. top rope? <laughs> he said you! He said <laughs> you're <fine." laughs> The big show just came in. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh damn. Oh uh -oh. shit. They all picked oh, him god. up. Oh my oh, god. They got him. They got him. Uh. How rude. Oh man, I hope he grabs that guy through the bars. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> pulls him through the bars. Oh, Frederick, if only there was some way I could mm. relieve this torture you are going through. Mm. Mm. Relieve the tension if there was just <laughs> some way I could give you a little peace. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, Daughter's cable came while you were gone. I probably a sick you view. <laughs> while you me while I'm working. <laughs> oh shit. I don't think you were working, buddy. Mm, working some. Working that <laughs> ass. <laughs> what? Elizabeth here tonight? Uh-oh. Darling. She thought about that ahead of time. Darling. Bro, facts. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Love me. Love Gloves. Me. Hairs wrapped up. Now we're in terra feta or whatever it's called. I'll just pay the driver. <sighs> Darling. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprise. I, uh, yes. <laughs> Love me? Well. Well, let's turn in. Ah. Wait, what? Say nothing. Act casual. Ready? Oh, what? Wait, what? Inga and Igor. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? Have you been smashing Igor? I don't know for sure. <laughs> Igor, would you give me a hand with the bags? You take the blonde and I'll take the one in the table. Oh. <laughs> what the? What the? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my, oh my god. What the f <laughs> You're afraid of this little fire? Hmm. This can't hurt you. Cause they might get hurt. Oh, yep, yep. That's, oh, yep. Look at you. Oh my, oh my gosh. He got gotcha. you. He got you now. Oh, shit. How oh, long have you been able to do that? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a lot of fire. Yeah. A riot <laughs> is an ugly thing. Oh my gosh. I think that it is just about time that we had one! Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
That's a weird way to brush out your hair, but I. Right. For sure. Um. Uh-oh. Just don't. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, oh. What are you? What do you? What do you want? What do you want to do to me? Oh boy. <laughs> Calm down. Mm. <laughs> He's like, she's like, settle down now. I'm a. I. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's definitely I, I, not I'm a engaged and, and once he took but, but I didn't good approach. Oh, uh, oh my, uh. What okay, is this Oh, okay, she likes it. That Okay, this could have been rape, <laughs> but I guess she likes it. Still weird. <laughs> Rape until that very last second where she was oh, like literally. liking it. Oh, I see it's going through the horns. What? They weren't trying to do that? No, I didn't think they were. I think they were just praying. I just didn't know. I think they were wondering if it was even going to work. Okay. He's about to go up there and be like, yo, guess what I just did? He's going <laughs> to knuckle bump Igor, <laughs> flip off Frankenstein, <laughs> and leave. Don't touch him! He wants to do it by himself! <laughs> He's like, no, I don't! Fucking grab me! <laughs> He's got it. He, he wants to do the pull-up himself. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Why is he pantsless? Where? Where was he? <laughs> Smells like my wife's cult, my wife's oh, perfume. My <laughs> okay. What the? F the doctor said to allow fifteen minutes, not one second more or less. Well, that's gonna be pretty hard to accurately get. accurately do. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have a stopwatch or something? I hope y'all have a stopwatch. Oh, oh no. My God. They're <laughs> using him as a battering ram. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Deal with that. He's they, they you've already broken through the door. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're not even going after the monster. Oh, oh, oh. I said put that man down. Oh shit. Oh. Did he put his brain into the monsters? I think he tried to balance out the fluid, right? I don't know. I don't yeah, know but really like, what he... did it go all the way? For as long as I can remember, people have hated me. Yeah, oh, fuck. They looked at yeah. my face and my body. Oh, this is his own... And they ran away in horror. Okay. This poor, half-crazed genius has given me life. No. Oh. He used his own body as a guinea pig to give me a calmer brain. As the leader of this community, may I be the first to offer you my hand in friendship. <laughs> I just oh, feel bad. I, I banged his wife. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh. To the lumber yard. It's wooden. I'm confused. That wasn't wooden before. That doesn't make any sense. Wood doesn't cranking make your <laughs> sense. Hello. Wait. Mrs. Frankenstein. Oh. Mrs. Frankenstein. What a beautiful oh. name. Oh. They did. <laughs> they married. Not not the other one. Yes. Uh oh. She can sing. Oh, say less. 
Do you think he got Frankenstein's appreciation? Or do you think this is turning him into Frankenstein? Ah, By Frankenstein, qu- I mean the monster. It's very, conf- very confusing with the name. Yeah, the right, yeah. Honey, I hope you didn't find Daddy's little party too boring. I mean, he did it just for you, and he meant so well. Say you were- <laughs> 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 The Wall Street Journal! Bro, in like a leopard print shirt, yo. What? The glasses and the hair, yo. Here I come. Oh, yep, that's the Frankenstein's bride hair yeah. right there. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, it did turn him into Frankenstein's monster. Hey, man, we know that Frankenstein's monsters are able to hey. lay that Frankenstein <laughs> D down. So, you know, in the transference part, the monster got part of your wonderful brain. But what did you ever get from him? Oh. <laughs> You about to find out. <laughs> yep. I don't know how that works, but I guess I guess he got it. Barely is got the sh- <laughs> Yo, so can I do a transference? Yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, oh, closing out on the castle we're opening. Yeah. Wow. The players. Dr. Frankenstein, Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle was the monster. That was a young Frankenstein. If you guys liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already and help us reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of next year, next year goal. We're definitely, absolutely, totally going to hit it by the end of this year. We might even hit it by the end of this month. That would be absolutely wild. You guys are killing it. Let's keep it going. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies like Blazing Saddles, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a really enjoyable movie, a really entertaining movie. I found it to be absolutely hilarious. There are so many funny moments in this movie. I think this is one of the more structured movies plot wise than mm. than you could say uh, uh, airplane. Uh, I think Naked Gun probably had still the most structured plot, but this was definitely up there in in terms of a a structured. You know, we've got this, this, and that. It might even be almost equal to Naked, uh, Naked Gun. I, I really appreciated the way that the plot was laid out. It was nice and smooth. We had him you know be a doctor at first come or be like a teacher at first and not a part of it then he comes to the castle because he inherits it and he starts to fall into it and then he builds the monster the monster gets loose and we have this whole situation where the monster where the people riot and stuff i i thought it was you know very familiar to the tale that i was uh familiar with so i really appreciated what they did and they were able to throw in a lot of funny things in there as well i thought again this was a very entertaining movie i was thoroughly entertained uh i thought the the writing was really funny i i I definitely felt mel brooks's style in here for Mm -hmm. sure i think that when it comes to the rating the 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 pg-ness i totally Mm got the rating and i don't think it interfered with the movie at all i think that the movie was great on its own regardless of the rating i don't think that making it a different rating would have uh necessarily made the movie better or worse in any way i really enjoyed what they did i will say i'm a little surprised they got a pg rating with all the more mature jokes related to you know the sexual nature of some things that did surprise me that they had a lot of that in there but they were able to maintain the pg rating you know if they did good for them that they did they got to a wider audience but hey yeah i i i really liked this movie i thought it was really good uh, definitely another one to add to the mill brooks comedies that we've seen so far this is number two and i'm excited to get into more zay what are your thoughts on the movie oh before we get into that i also wanted to mention the acting was really well done gene wilder impressed me a lot not only through the comedic acting but when the moments got a little more serious with the with the lines that he had delivered he really gave me the vibe of a mad scientist someone who had a little screw loose no pun intended uh but i um 
I, I really thought it was well done. The makeup for Frankenstein was really cool. I thought they had a good actor for them too. So the acting, not even the ones that I just mentioned, some of the other acting as well. Uh, actually, all the acting I saw, I, I really appreciated. thought the directing was great. Writing was good. I actually thought the cinematography was pretty cool. I liked some of the shots that we saw. And um, yeah, really, really cool laid out story. Really appreciated it. Uh, Zay, now what are your thoughts? Damn, man. Cover the whole movie. Why well, don't you? I, I'm, 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 I'm messing with you. I figured instead of like I can go and then you can go um, and then afterwards we'll do our uh, – Yeah, I think that um, – I think that, you know, like I said – like I mentioned in the beginning, I think that because of the time that this was made, PG had a lot more – had a little bit more wiggle room. So they were able to get away. I don't. Something like this would have got put up to PG thirteen. I think immediate. I don't think they would have allowed that to be PG nowadays. I'm saying. So it seems like they they were able to utilize probably a little bit looser uh, restrictions. Um, just for that time period, 1974, you're able to get away with a little bit more. I feel like that's also why Blazing. Sa- I mean, Blazing Sal's what was Blazing Sal's? What was that rating on that? Um, I'm pretty sure that was R. But was I'm it not, R? Not, I can't um, remember. I know we've seen one one movie that was PG thirteen. It was sh- surprising to us that it was rated PG thirteen. But I can't remember what it was. Um. No wait, Blazing Souls came out the same year. Oh yeah, but wait, yeah, what yeah, was it came but, out the same year? But I think it was rated R. Well, uh, either way, we're talking about this movie anyway. I think that that plays a big factor into it because there were some jokes. I was like, wow. I'm like, yeah, PG. They wouldn't allow this today. Um. Yeah, I think there was a lot of funny parts. Um. Definitely. Uh, an older style movie with all the transitions, especially that old school circle transition. When yeah. I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen that in a, in a while. I haven't seen that. Like you never see that nowadays. Um, they, it was very, very structured. I do agree. I think Naked Gun had a more structured story overall, but I do love this story. How, I mean, you even said from a teacher to like seeing him eventually adopt his, uh, the work of his family and becoming the sci- the mad scientist and then being able to throw in comedy throughout the whole movie. Um, and I feel like with the comedy aspect, there wasn't too, there wasn't really too many jokes that they did where I was like, Oh, like, like, Oh, like that's kind of corny. It was just more of, I think hit and miss with some of them where some were funny. And then sometimes I'm like, eh, okay. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, not a bad joke. Like, you know, I see what you did, but it wasn't I think, anything I too think to cringy. Be fair, we've we've been introduced to airplane, blazing saddles, yeah. naked gun. So our tolerance or our experience of these jokes is starting to raise a little bit because it's yeah. like we've seen some pretty good stuff so far. Uh, but I do think with some of the jokes, they definitely even passed some of the things we've seen in the previous. Oh movie. yeah, I love the characters. I think the characters were super well done, super well written. Um, they were all super. They were all super different. They all had funny quirks about them, um, and their interactions were awesome to see every time. Igor was hilarious. Uh, Inga was hilarious. Even the freaking inspector was funny with his ro- with his like robot arm. Like just the little things, you know, that they were able to throw in there um, to kind of give the movie its own character and give the characters their own you know flavor and everything so um it kept you interested it kept you wanting to uh watch the movie um i am curious now to see like this seems like this is the genuine story of frankenstein's monster obviously with funny comedy pieces put in but i'm pretty but this seems like this is the actual story overall if someone said it was i would have i would have I would believe it. Like, obviously, we don't know. if uh, Well, we know for a fact it's it's not a real thing, but the tale. Yeah, you know, this is the tale. Because it seems like this matches up with everything I've heard about the Frankenstein tale. So, uh, I mean, uh, maybe there's some parts that got changed a little bit for comedic purposes. I just, I yeah, the only part that confused me was so did his grandfather, great grandfather, already make a, f- a Frankenstein monster. And now this is a second Frankenstein monster. I was confused at that at, at first, but the way that the story played out, it, 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 I kind of started to lean more towards his family was trying to look into things like that, but never did it yet. Or because, never succeeded. Because I, I just, I don't, I don't think uh, th- this story was laid out in a way that reminded me of the original tale. So yeah. I figured this was a retelling of the original tale and there wasn't a situation before. That's the conclusion I've okay. come to, but I could be wrong. Leave a comment down below if, you know, in this movie they did establish uh, that there was a previous Frankenstein monster, but I, okay. don't, I don't think so. 
And um, yeah, the cinematography was great. I mean, that first shot with the coffin where they like did the swooping shot around it, I thought was really, really cool. Um, unexpected type of shot. I wasn't really expecting too much uh, crazy like cinematography. Again, you know, it being a black and white film, a lot of a lot that stands out in cinematography and stuff is the shot itself, right? When we watch Lord of the Rings, it's like, look at this landscape, the color, this. You can lose that when it's black and white because you're not getting all those po eye-popping and eye-catching colors. So for them to be able to do the shots and make a story that's so intriguing that like obviously watching it i know it's black and white but i wasn't it wasn't in the forefront of my mind while i'm watching it i'm so interested in the story and the characters that you know some movies you'd go watch it and be like black and white might just turn you off from even wanting to watch it but i was they, gonna uh, ask you what you what you thought about the whole black and white obviously that was a stylistic choice because color yeah. existed during this time so what what, what how, how well do you think they executed it do you think it would have been better without black and white do you think it would have been, been better with black and white what are your thoughts about the whole black and white uh, I think, aspect. I think the black and white, I think they did very well with it. And I think it fits because, you know, at the end, of, it is supposed to be like a kind of like a horror and like the story of the Frankenstein monster is more of like a horror tale. So it fits the ambiance of what you would want the story to be, the tale to be. And then just adding the comedy is kind of like this nice, uh, like counterpart to it. So it's like, it's supposed to be this dark tale about this crazy scientist that develops this monster and all this, but then all the funniness, it's like, it almost takes you out of it and into it. And it caught me off guard because the cover is in color, you know, the yeah. cover of it shows the characters in color and everything. So you would think at first, like, oh, I thought at one point he was going to turn the lights and like we were going to get color and that was going to be a joke part of it. Like he turned like they were turning on like that, like one switch when they first entered the lab. I was like, oh, are they going to make it come into color? And like there's going to be some weird joke about like, like, holy shit, like, you know, what I'm saying some right. like, like, wow, he was crazy or something. But yeah, I think that they executed it very, very well. Um, I yeah. have no complaints about it. I think that maybe it would even lose a little bit of its character if it was in color. I think that, you know, I, so. I absolutely agree. I think black and white was the better option here. And I think that, like you mentioned when I was watching it, you, 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 it, the black and white aspect of it is not even in the forefront of your mind. It completely goes away almost immediately especially the way they open it with the whole castle dark and stormy times mm -hmm. it's taking place kind of in the past so you 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 start your brain just starts to blend the black and white with just that's you know this is yeah. the time and this is you know it gives like you said with ambiance it, it gives that ambiance like a horror feel but also mm -hmm. like you know this is a tale that's being told and i i i really agree with what you said about the black and white i i i thought it was uh really well done um and and it didn't stay in the forefront of my mind it blended so well it's kind of like uh sound design i thought the sound design for this movie was great too but the black and white is kind of like sound design that's done well sometimes mm -hmm. it's the sound design that just blends in uh it's the music that blends in with the scene that really makes you feel it a, a lot more and i felt that with the black and white i felt like it it just blended in with everything so well that you don't even you're not even considering the fact that it's black and white you're just feeling the tone that is being set yeah i mean i'd say that you know a piece of sound design that i feel like wouldn't fit well or just wouldn't feel right is the constant thunder I feel like the thunder with it being black and white is like just that meld that's like perfect. I feel like if yeah. it was in color, it just wouldn't feel the same. Like I'm watching it and I'm getting this like this old timey old folks tale feel where I'm watching it. And I'm like, oh, and a million thing about Dracula and all these other classic monsters that you hear about. So, yeah, I think that I mean, that's a that was a great point as well. Yeah, the sound design, especially with this tied it in um, overall. I mean, yeah, it was a blast. What I don't know if you had any more comments about it, but yeah. Yeah, no, I thought it again. It was a great movie. I'm always looking forward to more of movies like this. I can't wait to see what Mel Brooks movie is next. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have any horror movies you want to see us watch in October, which is this month, let us know in the comments. We are letting you guys know now that, uh, you know, this is going to be the only kind of horror adjacent movie we watch in this month. We are going to try to aim for scary movies jump scares horror movies like that going forward for the month so you know this is just to start it off light but again i thought this was a great beginning of our october i thought it was a fun start and yes zay 
well, what would you rate this movie? And before we get into it, just let you know how our scale works. We go from a one to a 10 and a 10 and we rate based off of our experience that we had of the movie and our time watching it. And a 10, we never give because that means flawless and nothing could ever be better than it. And that's impossible to say. And a zero, we don't give because that means it's the worst thing ever. And there's nothing that could be worse than it. And that's impossible to say. We've had a couple people here and there mention in the comments that they either don't agree with the rating system or, or you know, they, they think that uh, you, you, you can give movies a 10. And everybody's got a different rating system. There are people out there that give 10s. And we're not saying their 10s are invalid. We're just saying, according to our perspective you know we do go we do de do decimals 9.9999 and so on but if we give a movie a 10 that's saying it's flawless and that's like you know if there's an oddly shaped leaf in the background and in our you know we didn't like the shape of that leaf immediately it, it gets knocked down a peg so you know you can't say a movie is flawless everything yeah. has its flaws uh so 10 is like that mythical cap uh you know you know, some people might say, oh, well, then 9.999 is, is your 10. It's like, no, 10 is 10, but it means flawless. Now, other people's 10s don't mean flawless. It just means great movies. So that's fine. Yeah. Again, we're not saying that our, because we don't give it a 10. It's not a 10 for you. That's completely fine. But again, our scale, 10 is flawless. Zero is absolutely flawed. And there's nothing that's completely flawed or completely flawless. So our scale goes in between using decimals. So Zay, with that being said, what would you rate the movie? Five is average for us. Six is good. Yeah, is great. Eight is beyond that. And nine is top tier cinema. Um, I would say I would be comfortable giving this movie like uh, I hate getting like so specific with decimals, but like a seven point three to maybe a seven point five. It's not a. I think that some of it is just you know. I think that. I don't know. It's tough. I loved this. I loved a lot about this movie. I think the story was good. Everything. I think that just you know, with the comedy being kind Still of the part. Great, by the way, yeah, Seven is great. He's saying but it's better than great. With the comedy having to kind of be more the forefront because it's supposed to be a twist on the classic tale, there was a fair amount that was kind of like okay, like you know, it's just like eh, eh, you know, maybe that's just tolerance build up, like you had said, from us seeing all these other films with great comedy. I mean, I think, you know, I just think that some jokes were hit. I think some jokes really hit. I think some jokes were kind of like, a, okay, like not eye roll cringe, but like, oh, like, okay, I see what you tried to do or like, you know, maybe a, a light, lighthearted chuckle. Um, I didn't really have too much issues with how the movie was shot or really like any characters. I'm surprised, none of the characters really annoyed me or anything. I think it was more just going into it, maybe expecting a little bit funnier, but also I understand that with a PG rating, it does limit how your jokes and like your what well, you're able the type to use. Of jokes, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would say like a seven point three. Okay, so. not bad, not bad. I mean, again, that's better than great. I would probably give it an eight on the dot, and the reason I would okay. give it an eight is because while I agree with you, there were definitely some misses in this movie. I mm -hmm. think that while there were also some hits, there were some mega hits for me. Like there were some that just landed so well. It and was very tailored to my sense of humor that i think that it kind of forgives some of the misses in my opinion okay. uh i thought that the putting on the ritz scene was iconic i I'm, I'm guessing that's like a big thing uh an iconic scene from this movie i have no idea but i mean that had me giggling so hard mm. i i really really thought that was funny and the whole the whole like don't open this door no matter what yeah that movie. was yeah. that was that was funny out of here yeah it just the way they talk i thought most of the humor that really hit for me was the doctor's humor and the monster's humor i thought yeah. that those two were the best parts i think movies like uh naked gun and movies like airplane and movies like blazing saddles they have humor that's more evenly distributed throughout the characters of the story while obviously it's focused on the main characters i felt like with this movie most of the misses were on were on side characters and things like that okay and i thought most of the really hard-hitting uh humor were on like frankenstein and the monster and since that was the four focus uh or the forefront focus and and those characters we watched the most and those characters had a lot, a lot of hard-hitting moments for me personally it kind of balances out some of the misses and uh i thought that 
I felt educated watching this watching this movie like i felt more educated with the tale of frankenstein i could be wrong about some things like you said obviously some things were changed for comedic purposes but it you know kind of gave me a uh you know a re a reinforcement of what i already knew of frankenstein and you know just a little bit more i'm guessing maybe the scientist wasn't all about it at first and 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 then he did get an inheritance and and yeah went more about it i wasn't aware of that part so i'm guessing that is part of the tale so i felt educated there were a lot of hard-hitting laughs for me i thought the stylistic choices were great and so you know all together i thought the 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 structure of the plot was was really well done for being a a comedy borderline spoof comedy as it was Mm -hmm. so yeah i would i would i would land it as an eight i really appreciated it and um and for me and for both of us we thought it was beyond great so yeah that's where i would yeah. land. i will say yeah i do have appreciation too as well real quick that they were able to keep the story so it was so committed to the original tale while being able to change a little bit comedically or add comedy sometimes people try to do it and it can kind of fuck up the story or kind of yeah. like take out take you out of it so i will say mel brooks did a great job with with t- putting a comic twist on it but a comedic twist on it but not doing too much or going over the top with it yeah yeah well that was young uh, frankenstein if you guys liked what you're watching again leave a like down below subscribe to see for more if you're not already help us reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of next year but most likely by the end of this month and if you want to watch a full reaction of this various other movies you can check it out on patreon links in the description zay i know you have a twitch Yes, I do. Uh, my Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Um, guys, my so real quick for uh, for an update just on this part, 24-hour stream kind of fell apart uh, for several reasons. Cam got sick unexpectedly. I had an unexpected um, family event that came up that I had to go attend. So we are rescheduling it. Um, I'm trying to save it for when I'm actually moved out of my house because – a, a decent sized stream that day and we did get some money to yeah. charity as well so that was we still did we actually stream. broke our charity goal five hundred dollars we got up to six hundred so appreciate to everyone that donated um i will be doing i will have there will be another charity stream um it'll probably be a, a decently long one as well in november um the specifically i can't remember the specific date it's the national diabetes awareness day it's actually the day I also got diagnosed. So I will be doing one that day. Um, I'll keep you guys more informed on that as we get closer to it. But link is down in the description. Come tune in. Come say hi. Been having a ton of fun. Been having a lot of people start to come through uh, recently. Uh, viewer count's been going up ridiculously now on streams. We've been having a ton of people coming in, having a blast. Cam and I played Cuphead the other night. It went poorly, but it was still funny. <laughs> it was still funny. So, yeah, come tune in. Come say hi. It's always a blast, guys. Yeah, check it out. It'd be a great time to see you guys there. But no spoilers in the chat. Yeah. With that being said, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being supporters. We'll see you on the next one. And peace. Peace. Sit. No, 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 no.